Muy buenas a todos chavales, bienvenidos un día más a Red de Redención Vamos a continuar por donde lo dejamos el último día Y nos vamos a Great Plains, ¿vale? No, bueno, no, perdón, nos vamos a Blackwater Le vamos a hacer una de las misiones principales Pero ahora me han pedido que recoja unas malvas de las praderas No sé si es esto, que puede ser que sí, no lo sé, ahora lo haremos Grosella dorada, nada. Esto es la grosella dorada esa. Que esto no es la malva de las praderas. Pues... Grosella dorada, nada. En Great Plains tenemos... Mira, aquí hay... ¿Qué es esto? Son estas, ¿no? Malva de las praderas. Muy bien, chavales. Voy a buscar margarita de los cojones. A ver... Vale, pues ahora nos vamos a ir a Blackwater. Está allí el tío este, el cabrón. Este que, bueno, ya sabéis. Vale, el que nos trajo de Blackwater a New Austin. Nos encargó una misión que él no podía cumplir. Están aquí todas, así que ya que estoy, lo voy a hacer. Y ahora llevo. Ya mismo habrá búfalo también. nervioso el caballo vale broken tree vale no tienen que quedar ya poca ¿eh? y nos vamos ahora chavales Lo estoy haciendo con vosotros para que veáis cuando salga lo que me dan, cuando lo consigamos, a ver qué es. Ahí están las tres que necesito. Una serpiente al lado. Me tiene que faltar una, no, dos. Porque esta no es. Tira Blackwater. Ahí lo tenemos. La gran ciudad. ¿Vale? Malvas de los cojones tengo que coge. Ah, vale, ya la he cogido. Ah, vale, es que no me aparece que lo he conseguido, ¿no? Me ahorco. Qué puta mierda. O sea, no me aparece, tío. Bueno, ya estoy en Blackwater. Dios. Estamos en Blackwater, Dios mío. Me deja el lomo del caballo, ¿eh? También te digo. Uf, uy, si te clava eso, caballito mío. 
¿Qué pinta tiene Blackwater, eh? Bueno, chavales, pues vamos a comenzar con la misión de Blackwater, la primera, ¿vale? Ey. Hola, amigo. Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. As honesty is in my business. <laughs> I work for our well-respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Oh, yeah. I can handle that for the right price. Correcto, now, right price. This individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Claro. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. Bueno. Ya veremos. Bueno, ¿quién hay aquí? Vaya, hombre. Vale, a ver. Voy a irme a guardar. Entro a mi casa. Yo tenía una casa en Blackwater. Uf, fue el Blackjack. No, no, que me caliento. Pues guardamos. Coño, vaya acá, sopla. No sé cuánto dinero me deja en casa, la verdad, una pila. Y por fin llegó la mejor. Para la misión tampoco puedo. 7 AM a 10 PM. Se ve desgraciado. Me cierran a las 6. Cuidado. Venga, que quiero ir a la armería. Te caíste porque quisiste. Bueno, puedo hacer... Puedo trabajar de este nocturno. Vamos a ver. Total, hay que hacerlo. Watch out for any suspicious activity. I jump them if you spot them. Might be good to follow that dog there. Por mi padre, dime que me puedo montar aquí. Voy a pillar esta pistola. uno fuera no si sí, yo lo dejo aquí yo no voy. 
Sí, cuando salgas de la cárcel sí. De momento no. Vale. Hostia, el barco, aquí es donde me bajé tú. Joder. Vale, perrito mío. ¿Dónde vamos ahora? Malísima idea, compañero. Vale. Muy bien, vamos a la oficina del capatá este. Y nos vamos a dormir ahora. La forma del ejército actualizado. Vamos a dormir. Tengo que ganar al, al Pokés también, ¿eh? Lo suyo para la misión es cuando haya solo uno. Lo hace mucho más fácil echarlo porque así gano igualmente. Ya es de día. Correcto. Coño, vaya luminosidad. Entra ahora. Perdón, este señora. Perdón, este señor. No se me tiene permitido aquí entrar a comprar a ninguna tienda. ¿Qué hora es? 9 de la mañana. Sí, espérate ahí. Vamos a ver. Hostias. Ah, vale. Ok. Nate Johns. Nate Johns. Why that no good lying back stabbing bastard. I like to see him horse whipped. Why you ask, friend? I need to make sure I have the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? Hey, hey, hey. As I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even better governor. And I consider it an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> Wise man. Ya estaría sencillo, fácil. Hola. Ahora, amigo, háblame rápido, que tengo prisa. Muy bien, taco de billet. Ah, 24. ¿Cómo se entra ahí, tío? ¿Cómo entro aquí? Vale, de momento no, de momento nos vamos a ir a la misión, ¿vale? Tengo que ir a muchos sitios. Al médico, el primero, que tengo que ver lo que ofrece y lo que tiene. No 
se puede ser quita de aquí. A ver. Para el armero. Me acaban de cerrar la armería, tío. Amigo, véndeme cosas. Ya me he equivocado, tío. ¿Te ponen ahí eso? Vamos a ver. Mauser, Evans de repetición, Carcano, fusil explosivo. Y la Mauser, a ver. A ver, amigo, ven que te voy a vender cositas. A ver. Hostia. Y yo añadiendo cosas, ¿sabes? Carne de zorro, hasta, hasta de guapiti, eso no es. Vale. Eh, higo chumbo. Salvia roja. Carne de armadillo. Caparazón de armadillo. Los venados. Vale, comprar. Me falta un arma, eh. Me falta el fusil de caza, eh. Quiero saber ni lo que mete eso, tú. Evans de repetición. A ver, si lo de arma. A ver. Entran 22 balas. Vale, el carcano donde... Vale. Sí. Hostias, lo que mete, tú. Es buenísimo el carcano, es el mejor. Quiere decir, no voy a disparar con esto porque no estoy pillado, ¿vale? Vámonos con el tío este a la misión, a ver qué quiere. Vamos a ver, responsabilidades compartidas. Mr. Ross? 107. 113. Up stairs on the right. 114. 116. 117. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. 
No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Yes, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and the Squail. What the match? We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, oh, yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group. Your group has, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston. Your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? Back to you, sir. Bueno. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. Una mil novecientos once. But your best interest at heart. Old. Mil novecientos. <laughs> 1911. ¿Ya por ahí todavía, máquina? Tía West Dickens. Hola, West Dickens. Pensé que Pekín. Y así lo sé. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. 344. 345. 347. Ahora es que le intenta vender algo. No me acuerdo. No, no, se va, se va. Serendipity, Mr. Fordham. Quiero ver si hay conversación, ¿vale? Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite in any case. I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're operating in. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth. And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my file, you are the whore's son. Now, what can <laughs> you recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now, you're stupid, but you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be, and it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. 
You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston, but we can. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left. Nunca me paré a escuchar esta conversación. Admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe this is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Vale, chaval, un momento. Cinco enemigos que estén a cubierto con el fusil explosivo. Okay. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Come on, then, Marston. You're with me. Quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. I'm away. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. What are you doing? There's someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. I imagined. Go on. Those screams are coming from somewhere. Oh, baby. Get it. Over here. I found him. Good God, that's her informant. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think you can walk! Oh my god, devil! Oh, Come on, we need to get him to safety! Look, there they are! Bueno, mira. Voy a decir, este le quita el sombrero. Y ahora trata de centrarme en quitar sombrero también. I 
need to get out of here. Solo puedo usar esto. What the hell's happening here? No me ha contado ninguno, ¿no? No, es que es difícil. Muy bien, chavales, ya estamos. Un arma específica y se arma otra, dos. Y me cargo de eso me ha contado Perfecto Mira, me ha contado, sí Madre mía, amigo cargando yo solo con este tío. Tu querido informador. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. La verdad duele, compañero. No me ha dejado mi tío el viaje, tío. Este está regular, ¿eh? Pinta malamente. Uy, peto el coche. Momento, chavales.
Ya soy tirador, ¿no? Y para los son de dos personas y desarma, joder. Vamos a probar. Desarmarte. Creo que me queda desarmar, eh. Ya los conseguí arrancar, máquina. Los conseguí arrancar. Vamos a ver. I can't see any more. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Hostias. Vamos a hablar. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, <laughs> help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now, try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much needed vacation far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Bueno, hemos llegado. Vamos a hacer ahora lo del fugitivo y acabamos el capítulo. Thank God for that. Este está caja pino, ese está, vamos, pero caja pino. This is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, Mr. Fordham. Good day, good day. What on earth's going on here? Qué cara de pillado. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. Bueno. Mercader perspicaz. Re Hombre. Mira. Uh, ahora está el mato. Uh, qué pila de cosas. Vale, vamos a ver. Mm, Ay, pero no tengo... No tengo periódico, mapa del tesoro. No. <risa> Ay, Dios mío. Vale. Todo el área de Toltris.
Urla Basin, Tanner's Reach, Pierre Cloud Camp, Broken Tree, Resta del Serendipity y Black Water. Blue Water. Vale, vámonos por aquí. Ahora. Bueno, no. Vamos a dejar el capítulo de hoy por aquí. Que no quiero que se haga muy largo y que se haga pesado. Así que, chavales, muchísimas gracias a todos los que habéis llegado hasta aquí. Nos vemos en el siguiente capítulo. Cuidado mucho. Hasta luego.